Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news. It is the 28th of May, 2017. It is incredibly fucking hot, and the footage you are seeing is of Arkham Knight, which was the sequel to Arkham Afternoon, which was a great game where you played as the Joker and a cast of uh, supervillains in Arkham Prison just spending an afternoon watching telly and playing poker. Actually, I'm playing the shit out of a game which is set in a supervillain prison where you've all got special abilities and you're all trying to cheat at poker using those supervillain special abilities. Like the Gwent spin-off of the Arkham series. I desperately want to play that game now. I've just invented a game that doesn't exist and I want to play it. That's really sad, I think. Anyway, let's get on with the big news of the week. And that is that Red Dead Redemption 2 has unsurprisingly been delayed uh, six or so months until spring 2018. I don't think Rockstar have announced a single game that they haven't delayed since GTA 4, possibly even earlier than that. Everything just gets delayed. Max Payne was delayed, GTA 5 was delayed, if you're on PC it was delayed three times. You know, just inevitable delays. So it's not surprising, it's inevitable. They'll release a, a really solid single player when it eventually comes out, and probably a good idea for a multiplayer that they then slowly ruin. And then they add new shit to it that they don't add to the single player to make you hate it even more. Anyway, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out. They released a few screenshots. And every single one of these screenshots appear to feature this one main character. This one, this one person. So, uh, well, speculation is that that's the lead character. But nobody gives a shit. Because he's a cowboy man. And we'll just play as whatever cowboy man they give us. As long as they don't change it halfway through. Uh, yeah, um, Red Dead it, the, the, for the screenshots, it looks absolutely bloody gorgeous. They're really, really, really pretty looking screenshots. Um, but it's, you know, Western game. Nice looking smoke, nice looking trees, nice looking wildernessy horse ridey goodness. It's going to be a fun game. Just got to wait for it. They'll release it when it's done. Uh, the next bit of news is Far Cry 5. That's how lots of shit talked about. Now, I can't talk for very long about Far Cry 5. Because the worldwide reveal is today, which is for me today, the 26th. You've already had it. I have to record this early this week, so I don't actually know all the stuff's been revealed. Although this is what was teased um, a while ago. Somebody in, on a subreddit said, this is what the game's going to be like. It's going to be in Montana and feature crazy Christians, much like that one Studio 60 sketch. And everyone was like, Psst. and now it's real. So yeah, it's said Montana, which is a hilly place, and it features... Um, a, a Christian cult. Which is interesting, because I don't think a Christian cult's going to have lots of members and jeeps and things, but you never know. I'm kind of hoping they just divert from the Far Cry formula and that it looks different. You know, it's not just uh, really strangely dark villains, but you're still going to be climbing your radio towers and clearing out bases and that sort of thing. I want something different from my Far Cry, please. Please. Please a little bit. Something different, please. That's all I really want. A setting's fine. I mean, you can have the most interesting setting in the world, but if the game hasn't changed, I don't care. And I, there's a great example of that. It's called Far Cry Primal. Because that's... I'm like, shit, Stone Age setting? That sounds awesome. Exactly the same as the two games that came before it. Oh, then I don't give a fuck. I want them to massively change things up. They may have done. They may not have done. We'll see how I feel. I'm glad, I kind of like... Do I think they've changed... I think they've changed a bit up. You know, I think they're going to have changed a section up. Because, you know, Far Cry 1 was uh, a man in a Hawaiian shirt being shot and shooting mutants. Far Cry 2 was Africa and weird jamming in Africa. Far Cry 3 was tribalism and weird mystic-y shit. So was Far Cry 4 and so was Far Cry 5 or, uh, Primal. So, I felt like it stalled at Far Cry 3. Far Cry 4 should have been called, like, Far Cry Himalayas and this should be the real Far Cry 4. Hopefully. Hopefully. I haven't really seen many games with a 5 in the title, do you? By this point, they normally give it a new name. Also, it's the 6th Far Cry game. Like, I had, there was always Blood Dragon as well. Which is just the same thing again. But yeah, hopefully it's changed stuff up. I like the trailers they revealed, the, the, the live-action stuff. That was um, interesting. It's an interesting way they're doing that. But maybe maybe the same thing. I don't know. I hope it's not. I hope it's different. I'm really coming out of E3 season now, because a lot of shit's getting announced. Um, oh, this is a great story. I love this story. Destiny 2 has this reveal and shit, and there was a lot of stuff about Overwatch and Destiny this week. I, and I don't care for either of those games, but there's one that I really like. Because this is apparently a news story. Uh, Destiny 2, the PS4 Pro isn't powerful enough to run game at 60 FPS. No shit. 
because there's very few games that the PS4 Pro can actually run at 60 FPS, because I've got one, and I was like, this is going to be great. And then, you know, I get 30 from The Last Guardian. I get this horrific variable frame rate bullshit from Final Fantasy XV that I can't turn off. So I still haven't played much Final Fantasy XV because they literally patched in the thing that made it horrible to play. Awesome. But yeah, it's going to run at 4K, but it can't run at 60 FPS. Which I find interesting. For me, that means that it's going to be CPU heavy. Because if it's, if, it's, if it's doing a lot of physics stuff, then if it's going at 60, then they've got to do twice the physics stuff. Whereas if it's 4K, it's the same amount of physics stuff, just more pixels to display it with. And the PS4 Pro is good at pixels, bad at CPU physics -y stuff. So maybe it's a really physics-oriented game. But then again, it's Destiny 2. It's just a really another boring shooty-bang kind of thing. So, well, I'll see. We'll see. I mean, we won't, because I'm going to the fucking play because I don't give a shit about Bungie. I think they make terrible first-person shooters. And I've never enjoyed a single one they play. And I've played most of their stuff now. I liked Oni. Oni was okay. Back in the year... Blimby, people, Google. Oh, he's only even going to find it. Oh, yeah, Oni video game. Uh, when did that come out? 2001. It was published by Rockstar. Developed by Bungie West and published by Rockstar. I didn't ask what for Rockstar. I've learned a thing. That was alright. It was a bit weird. But yeah. It was only a division of Bungie that made it as well. Bungie West. It was Bungie West's only game. Well, there we fucking go then. Uh, oh, speaking of um, thing, terrible things happening to good people. Um, <laughs> what are we doing about that? Probably. Um, IO Interactive, the developers of Hitman, recently parted... Uh, from Square Enix, is Square Enix just going to be going, Bye now! It is a complete surprise. Um, they are being hit by layoffs, because of course they are. They're restructuring their company to fit their new thing. I wish them all the best in the world. All the people that are leaving and all the people that are staying to try and make something of it. I hope they do make an interesting thing very quickly, because they have that ability. And then they can carry on independently from Square Enix. I'm kind of hoping that they do that. I'm hoping that they nail this down and go, right, let's get to work, and they don't collapse. But, yeah, this sort of shit happens when you randomly lose your publisher. Ah, uh, shit. God damn. I, they had so... It, seriously, because Square Enix fucked them over with that release thing, because that's clearly not their decision. That's clearly Square Enix's higher-ups, who are all on meth, as far as I can tell. I mean, I was when I was there. Uh, all of them just going, bleep, 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 release episodic! Because they had a big, you know, their episodic thing for a while. And now... I hope Iron Track to just go, hey, here's a fucking really cool game. Bosh. They should they should focus on making a small, interesting indie thing to get a bit of attention. And then start to build back up. They shouldn't go for big AAA straight away. I don't really think that they could survive that. They should do lots of little things to keep them going for a while. That's my advice to them. But I don't know how to run a massive company because I only run a little one. But that would be... I wish... Com I wish more bigger, to be honest, I just wish bigger companies would do that because... You're more likely to buy smaller indie things, especially when they're on sale, than, you know, a big, long thing that you might not have interest in. I like to I like to not put all my eggs in one basket, because my eggs are in a carton, and they're in a trolley, and then they're in a bag. Because, no, who has baskets these days? I mean, we've kind of... But the basket died out, really. Anyway, speaking of things that haven't died out... <laughs> segway, segway, segway. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V has now shipped... 80 million copies! Jesus! Um, everybody has a copy of Grand Theft Auto V now. It's, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. They, 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 they just, it just, who, like, they sold 5 million more copies since February 2017. Who is buying, who doesn't have Grand Theft Auto V yet? Surely everyone has Grand Theft Auto V. Hang on, I want to check on the list of best selling games. Best selling games. This is me clearly doing research. Um, all right, where's the where's the uh, no, not Forbes? You can fuck yourself. Where's the boom? It's got to be on this list somewhere. Sales there. Grand Theft Auto V, the fourth biggest selling game of all time. No, it's not. It's the third biggest selling game of all time because I don't count Wii Sports. If it comes with the thing, you can't say it's the biggest selling game of all time. Because think of the amount of fucking packets of cereal that they've shipped with a piece of shit stapled to it. Remember when you used to get a disc in front of, like, in the little see-through package? It used to be like, Disney Interactive presents a shit level of Hercules. And you'd be like, oh, fuck. Okay, they gave away Roller Coaster Tycoon. But, like, surely that would count. But it doesn't. In fact, Jesus, 
Wii Sports has only sold 82, not only, but 82,810,000 copies. Which means Grand Theft Auto V might beat Wii Sports as the third biggest selling game of all time in the next few months. Uh, the top selling game of all time is Tetris, uh, with 495 million copies, and underneath that, Minecraft, with 122 million copies. And GTA V with 80 million, Super Mario Bros. with 40 million, uh, Mario Kart Wii with almost 37 million, Wii Sports Resort, another one I don't count. Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue are down there. Wow. Diablo 3 is on this list, 30 million copies? I kind of like Diablo 3, I didn't think it was that good sell that much or have that much interest. There's a lot of shit just constantly going through this. Oh, Lemmings is on there. Jesus, Rockstar are everywhere in this. When they were back when they were DMA Design. 20 million copies. The Sims, 16 million copies. Is that the best-selling Sims? I mean, The Sims is a series. What's the list of best-selling game franchises? Let's find that out. I'm assuming it would be Mario. But, um... Franchise name! Mario! Yeah, 528 million. And then Tetris, 495. Then Super Mario... Which is apparently different. What does Mario include? Oh, Mario includes Super Mario. What? Don't do that! That's a... B bollocks. And then Pokemon, Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, boring, 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 boring. Wii. Anyway. Yeah, there's so a lot. The, the reason I want to bring this up... Sorry, I got the slightest sidetrack there. Is, I mean, this game is out now for, what, four years? It's four years old now? Jesus, this game is four years old. But, um... The disc versions of GTA V are 75% of all the sales. Digital is only 25%. That's insane that it's still that many discs being sold. So I'm assuming it's largely console sales. But it's, I find that really weird. It's still 75% of all the things. Although 25% of that money is from digital sales. So don't fucking knock digital sales. Um, speaking of rabbits. Uh, <laughs> actually, speaking of fucking drugs, I think is the best, word, best segue for this one. Have you seen Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle? This is an upcoming Mario game, where it's, a, I believe it's an RPG, uh, but I'm not entirely sure, but it's Mario and those rabbits from Rayman Rabbids. Remember, was that their first appearance? Because they become like their own thing, really. Uh, Raving Rabbids. Hang on a second, let's, I'm, I'm going to look a lot. Um... It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a spin-off franchise from the Rayman series. Yeah, so these Rayman characters are now in Mario. Proving that Mario and Rayman exist in the same universe. What? This is literally a spin-off of Rayman is now in Mario. Um, this, uh, an image from this, they've released, I don't know if they've released it, it's linked or whatever. One of the images from this thing is amazing because it is a rabbit dressed as Princess Peach taking a selfie from a phone that has bunny ears while holding a gun and Yoshi has a bazooka and is firing a big purple laser out of it and it just kind of looks like a dream a really weird dream yeah apparently that's a thing that's coming out that's a weird crossover to have a big props to Laura K Dale for announcing this bloody months ago that this was going to be a thing and everyone was like that's not going to be a thing and now it's a thing maybe it was so stupid that when they're <laughs> When they heard us say it, they were all like, no, we should totally, we should totally make that thing. That sounds, that sounds great. Anyway, uh, not a huge amount of news. We, we're now getting to that point where we're going to have a lot of game announcements that they exist, but not a lot of shit about them. Because E3's coming up. E3's coming up. Uh, Lego Worlds has added a creative sandbox mode. Finally! <sighs> Finally. Remember how I bit to the Lego Worlds didn't have a creative sandbox mode? Well, they've apparently now added it. I haven't had a go at it yet. I just found this bookmark. I can't remember if I mentioned this last week or not as well. But I had a bookmark, so I was like, I'll talk about that thing. Um, but yeah, the uh, it, it's finally got that sandbox mode. It, which felt like a really weird admission. I'm glad they listened and went, we're going to add that back in. But it felt like a really sort of weird admission from the original game. Anyway, what else? Um, I, don't, I have I have one more thing to talk about, but I will drop one other thing into this news. They have just released, and I don't know if you've seen this. Hang on, let me see if I can remember. Just, I want to get the exact number up. They've just re-released the Nokia 3310. Now, the Nokia 3310 was an ancient mobile phone, one of those indestructible Nokias. And they've gone, we're going to have a new one. I'm going to release this new Nokia thing. And I've looked at it and I've gone, 
that's all I want from a phone. Why why are phones this new thing? Like, I, right, me and phones, we don't get along. I don't even know what fucking phone... I got this thing here. I'm waving it at the camera. It's, it, it, do, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there, and every night I have to charge it. That's just how phones are now. It do, there's, not, there's no games on it that are worth playing. There's no anything... If they're there, they have horrible controls. There's no... It just does. It all it does is it sits there and disconnects from the internet when I want to watch Netflix while cooking. That's that's literally all it does. That's that's a phone's job these days. It re the other day it updated. It was like got an update and I was like no, and it was like well we have to do it and then just did it anyway. And I was like, if, it's like playing a ninety like sorry an eighty Sierra game. It's just like no. Well actually the answer was yes. So we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Good. But it's just changed huge swathes of everything and now things don't work. I've got a. Uh, a t an app, an app on there that I use that uses a special file type, and it now can't actually because I have to go. Oh, use this file with this, and it doesn't do that anymore. It goes, oh, we can't find what what opens with this. I'm like, oh, it's this thing, but I can't click the thing that it is because it only is like, oh yeah, you've got to select it, and it gives me like three folders. It's like you can go in your image or your videos or in downloads. It's none of those things. It's actually on the phone. I need to get into on the phone. Oh, there's no way for doing that. You can search to try and find the thing. Oh, well, search then. Oh, yeah. Uh, this opens with this app. And it opens up the Play Store. It's like, download this app. I'm like, that's the app I'm trying to open it with. So I download the app. And it just gets lost and confused. It's terrible. And I hate it. And I hate phones. They're just dumb. They just sit there. And they're, just, they're like computers. But someone's taken away all of the bits that make computers go. It's like, hey, here's all the things that make computers actually worth using. Let's just get rid of all of it. You can access the internet in a shitter way. It's got Twitter, but less stuff. That Twitter's useless on the fucking phone anyway. Because if you go to my mentions, because I've got a few followers on Twitter. And the mentions, I get quite a lot. And I go, I'm going to flick through my mentions. And it shows me like the last ten. What's the fucking point of that? If I've, if I've tweeted, I'm like, oh, what do people thought of that thing that I tweeted? Because I'm so hilarious. Brat, nothing. So I've been looking at the Nokia 3310 and I've gone, you know what, fuck it, I'm an old man enough that that's literally all I need. I need to text, I need to call my dad. I don't need anything else from my phone. It's literally all I need from my phone. So I'm going back, I've decided, I'm go although he's with Vodafone. I'm going to try and get a SIM-free one so I can do it with, I don't even fucking know where I'm in. My, my contract is like a pound. Like, I, I literally, I don't do anything. It's like, do you want some minutes? Why would I want minutes? I'm always where there's Wi-Fi. Why would I want this? Why, I don't, I can call through, what, like, apps. I don't need your, I don't need your calls. Do you want to have text? No! But I now I do it because I'm going to have to get a thing and I'm going to have to sim free it and then work out how the fuck that will work. God, phones are so shit. I'm always in a computer. Skype me. I don't have Skype anymore. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> Skype's just a fucking mess as well. Uh, Skype update the other day, it, it was like, hey, we're downloading Skype Windows 10 version. I was like, oh, that's fucking great. I'm not on Windows 10. What are you doing? And it just doesn't work anymore. I hate technology. <laughs> this, whole, this whole thing of just saying, oh, why are any of you doing these things? What is what is, what is is wrong with any of you? And the, yeah, the only thing, I just remember, the only thing that I use my phone for at the moment is when I'm cooking. I have it propped up and I watch a bit of telly on there while I'm cooking. Just have it in the background, just as a bit of noise. It's always useful. The new update. Ah, oh, Netflix doesn't work. Oh, what's the code? Look up the error code. The error code doesn't exist. What? I'm gonna get phone. You know, I need a phone. I need phone. I need snake. And I need that's it. It's all I fucking need. Everything I need. Everything. Yeah. I like that people have reviewed this phone. They're like, camera's a bit shit. <laughs> no fucking shit. It's a Nokia 3310. Oh, it's only got 2G connectivity. Who gives a toss? I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to check my stock. I literally, I swear to fucking God, I saw this article. Let's compare the Nokia 3310 camera to the iPhone 7. Top Gear doesn't go, oh, let's review the Citroen 2CV versus this Lamborghini Murcielago massive fuck off engine. You know. They don't, it's just... The amount of fucking bollocks I've seen about mobile phones over the last few days. Because I'm just sick of them. They're just there. There's always there. I've got into books again. I'm really enjoying books again. So when I go anywhere, I've got a book. And I'm a I'm an old man! I've just, I've turned. I knew it would happen at one point. I'd snap and the world went off. Like, you kind of, you, there is a point in your life. And you'll hit it sort of where I am now. You know, in your mid-40s. And you just... 
the world's going off at a pace and you're jogging along and then you just start to get tired and after a while you go, no, and you just go back. <laughs> and that's, this, I mean, um, eventually this leads to just vote Republican. That's where this leads. That's always where this leads and that's where we're going to go. I'm well off the news right now. Um, so we're going <laughs> to... I've been quite good at doing things. Recently, if you're a Patreon supporter, you would have seen my hour and a half long, uh, now a two-part uh, Doctor Who podcast. Well, the first part's an hour and a half. The second part is two hours long of just me talking about Doctor Who. Yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can listen to those things. But I just, I've, that's very focused. This, I've just gone tangential. Anyway. Uh, one last bit of news, which I thought was fucking hilarious. So I'm going to share this one last bit of news before I rant about how fucking shitty. Because they are shitty. They're the worst thing. Oh, look, I can play Clash of Dungeons of Doom of Legends on my phone. And, oh, for now, money. It's got a screaming face for the app icon. There's nothing there. I played, I played two games. On the I tried to play two games. I played fucking Dragon Ball Z piece of shit that just wasn't even a game and never became a game. And I played the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh one that was dumbed down with no rules. And it was like, oh, you have to pay to make more people to duel appear. Everyone games were good. <laughs> they are good. They're good. I'm playing a lot of um, Minecraft on the Switch right now. I'm like, shit, this is like, this is good gaming. Good game. Oh, that was a bit of news. Fuck it. Monster Hunter has been announced for the Switch. And I've never really been into the Monster Hunter games. Because uh, they've always been on really shit consoles that I've owned. So actually having on a console that I quite like, even though it's the most uncomfortable thing in the world, might be okay. Even though it's very, they're very grindy and they might put me off. It doesn't matter. Let's get on to this final... Bit of news. <clears throat> Tom Holland. You know Tom Holland. He's playing Spider-Man in the new uh, Spider-Man film. The 17th reboot of Spider-Man this year. Uh, he is. He looks young. And they're playing a very young Spider-Man. I don't know how old he is. I'm guessing six. Uh, I'm now Google him. He's 20. He's 20. He's a tiny baby child. He's small and little, and he's playing Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie. He's a sperm. He's tiny. He's got. He's. He looks like a. I look. If I see him, right, I don't want to see. Right, if I see Nathan Drake, I go, "Oh, there's a badass." I look at Tom Holland. You know what the only thought that goes through my head is, "Oh, like that's not what I should be thinking." It's not. I. I. I, I uh. I'm guessing they're going to have young flashbacks for him doing the thing, but you know, I you know, maybe he's just in the young flashbacks and they'll get someone who should play Nathan Drake. And by the way, the person that should be playing Nathan Drake is fucking Nolan North, because one, he is Nathan Drake's voice, and that's kind of defined, and that's him. And two, he looks quite Nathan Drakey. He could pull it off. He could pull off Nathan Drake, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's like how they don't get the guy, uh, oh, what's his name? Is it James Bateman? I don't know. The guy who plays Hitman. What's the guy who plays Hitman? Hitman voice. Hitman voice. There we go. The guy who plays Hitman. It is David Bateson. What the fuck? That was close enough with James. Um, yeah, he looks the fucking shit of Hitman. And he sounds the fucking shit of Hitman. You know what he should have done? He should have played Hitman in the film. But they can't. They go and do, I don't know, whoever the Bumdi Flap, whoever is the current popular actor. They go, you, we'll put a, we'll shave your head badly and then you can be here, man. And you're four years old. <laughs> I'm an old man. This is the, the, welcome to the old man news for old man. <laughs> I'm yelling at a cloud, but I don't understand what the cloud is. Anyway, that's um, literally everything that I should be saying. I've, uh, I've, I'm just, uh, fuck it. I'm going to bed to nap because it's warm.